everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day. Because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is gonna share with you all how easy it is to make delicious honey hot wings. These hot wings right here, they are amazing. They're so easy to make, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, make a Jeannie Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my honey hot wings before. I'm gonna make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first thing that you will need is some nice fresh chicken wings. So we have some gorgeous chicken wings here that I have washed off with apple cider vinegar, salt, and cold water, and then we've pat them dry with a paper towel. You will need some butter, and so I have some Kerrygold butter here, and then also you're gonna need some honey. You will also need some of this red hot wing sauce. You're gonna need some ranch, of course, and you're also gonna need some celery and some carrots for the side, and then a couple of spices so we can make this thing taste good. You will need some black pepper and some salt. And right here, we have some all-purpose flour. Any kind of flour you have will do the trick. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. So the first thing that we wanna do is make sure you wash off your chicken. Next thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, when I purchase my chicken, I like to get the whole wings and then chop them down myself. Because normally, if you go out and you purchase the wings already cut, they give you those little teeny, 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 tiny things. That's not what we're looking for. We want some meaty chicken wings. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's put them onto our cutting board just like so. And I'm gonna show you all how easy it is to break them down. It's so easy. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is kind of look at the wing. Okay, you see that there's two pieces. There's the drum there, there's the flat part that we love here at the Young's house, and then there's the tip. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut that tip off, just like so in this manner. Sometimes you gotta give it a little whack, just like so. Now, don't throw it away. Put it in a Ziploc bag, and when you need to make a um, stock, a chicken stock, you're gonna use those wing tips. Gives you great flavor. Okay, if it doesn't saw right through, wham. That's it. You got the flat tip that I love, and then you got this tip, <laughs> this part. I don't like this part. I just don't like it. My husband doesn't like that part either. All right, so now, same thing here. And if you see any feathers onto your wings, you can burn them off with the lighter, or honestly, you can just pluck it off. You know, there's a wing uh, uh, feather piece right there. Just get rid of it. I hope that you all are having an amazing day today. Let me know when is the last time you guys had some good old hot wings. There's nothing like making it at home because when you make it at home, you can cook the chicken. You know, sometimes when you go out to your local restaurant and you want some hot wings, they might be soggy. You don't want them to be soggy. You want them to be nice and crispy. You want them to be hot. You want them to be juicy. You want them to be well done and crispy. You don't have to worry about having to tell them how you want it cooked. When you can cook it yourself at home, you're gonna have fun. You're gonna know that you washed your hands and you know everything was cooked in a clean kitchen. You, you have a better peace of mind when you know you cooked it at home. Okay, so now I'm gonna continue to chop up these wings just like so. When I come back, we're gonna season these and I'm gonna talk about our seasonings. Okay, so I've washed off my cutting board. Now what I wanna do is go ahead and season up my wings. Now listen here, um, it's really up to you guys what type of seasonings you wanna use. You can have fun with your seasonings. Whatever you love to use, you can use them. Now typically you all will normally see me make a hot wing without dreading them into any batter, but today we're gonna give them a little bit of a dredge and we're gonna use the flour. It's gonna give it a really, really light, airy, crispy hot wing, okay? So now what we're gonna do, we're only gonna use, I feel like my my hot sauce, my hot honey sauce, is so flavorful, it really doesn't need a whole lot of spice. So the only thing we're gonna use today is we're gonna use some salt, we're gonna use some pepper, we're gonna use a nice amount of it, but don't get crazy with it, you know. All right, let's move our wings around a little bit so I can make sure that every piece has spice on it. If I haven't said I hope that you all are having an amazing day, I hope that you all are having a great day today. 
Okay, so now that we have our black pepper on, let's go ahead and season with some salt. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this um, salt and pepper kind of seep down into this beautiful chicken for at least um, let's just say a half an hour before we get started cooking it. And then also I want to address something. You want to make sure when you take your chicken out of the refrigerator, don't like throw it right into that hot oil while it's really cold because when it cooks up, it'll go into shock and it'll be dry. So what I like to do is I like to let my, my meat, whatever kind of meat it is, I let it kind of hang out on the counter for at least a half an hour, let it come up to room temperature, and then when it hits that hot oil, it's already relaxed, it's not gonna go on the shop, and I promise you it's always gonna be juicy. Like we love crispy chicken, but we also want it to be juicy. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's turn our chicken over on the other side, and I will season it off camera, and when I come back, we'll get started on this amazing honey hot sauce Gina Young stuff. So we've let our chicken set with the spices on it for about a half an hour. Let's go ahead and dredge it in the all-purpose flour. If you have almond flour, self-rising flour, any kind of rice flour, whatever kind you want to use, that's fine. And honestly, if you wanted to use just cornstarch, it's going to give it a nice crispiness to it and a really airy, you know, like texture to the skin. Okay, so we're gonna dredge it up really well. And then over on my larger stove behind me, I have some vegetable oil cooking up. We wanna heat it up to 350 degrees. It's very important when you're frying chicken that your oil is hot because if it's not hot, what will happen is your chicken will soak up all that oil. It'll be really greasy and kind of disgusting. So make sure that it's nice and hot. But when we make our way over to the oil, I'm gonna show you how you can tell that your oil is hot enough without a thermometer. So how I like to tell if my oil is nice and hot is I take a little tiny bit of flour between my fingertips and we're gonna put it into the oil. If it sizzles right away, it's nice and hot around about 350 degrees. Now, if you put that flour in there and it sinks all the way to the bottom, it's not hot enough, don't put anything in. Let's see what happens. It sizzled, perfect. That's what we're looking for. We know that the oil's nice and hot. Go ahead and put all of your wings in give them a nice little shake before they go in because if you don't you're going to have all kinds of excess flour dropping off of the wings into um, your oil and what will happen is those pieces of flour will burn and your chicken will have a burnt flavor so just take the time to give it a little shake before going into the oil while our wings cook up let's go ahead and make this amazing sauce so now I want to talk about the heat level because not everybody likes really, really hot, hot wings. Now, if you're that person that you want to kind of back up a little bit on the heat, what you do is you add more butter, okay? So anytime I make this uh, wing sauce, I always throw in some butter and normally I throw in between a half a stick and a stick. Today I'm going to use a stick, okay? So let's get that into our pan just like so and get it nice and melty. Okay, and then the less, uh, the more heat that you want, you use less butter. Now, some people like to use a, um, a little bit of lemon juice. And I do like the flavor of lemon juice, um, but it's not something that I typically put in. Um, so do I suggest it? Absolutely, it tastes good um, if you want it to. So now that we're getting our butter nice and melty, let's go ahead and put the, this whole bottle this is a 12 ounce bottle of red hot wing buffalo sauce. Every once in a blue moon, you will see me put a little bit of sugar in, but we're not gonna use that today because we are making honey hot wings. This is gonna have some spice, but yet in the back of the palate, you're gonna be able to feel that little bit of uh, sweetness that's gonna help you a little bit. You know, it's, we're, not gonna, we're not trying to burn anybody's socks off today, okay? So get you some honey in there. This is great flavor. Put as much as you like in yours, okay? Like I said, this is still gonna be hot even though I just put in a nice amount of honey in there. We're gonna mix it up just like so. We're gonna get it hot and bubbly. As soon as it starts to get really bubbly, we're gonna turn that bad boy off, it's done, okay? If you wanted to put some garlic powder in there, go ahead, it's a great addition. 
salsa's done, out the way. The wings are almost done. Let's go ahead and get together your palate cleansers. You, let's, it's like when you have any type of wing, you need a palate cleanser. You need something that's gonna be nice, cool, and refreshing. Celery and your carrots, and we have baby carrots here. Okay, so now I like to get the baby carrots so you don't have to cut them, <laughs> you know? So what I'm gonna do, I have washed my celery off. We're gonna just do a number like that. Let's scoot that over there. And then just bite-sized pieces, you know, so we could dip in our ranch dressing. Or those of you that like blue cheese, like I do, get you some blue cheese, okay? So now we're gonna do that again. Same thing. All right, you can leave that on if you want. It doesn't hurt anything, okay? Just like so in this manner, we're gonna wait patiently for our wings to get done. When I come back, I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. We're gonna dip these wings in our hot honey sauce. You all are gonna get that first bite. Take a look at these wings. Look at that right there. You're looking for that golden brown color. You all know that perfect golden brown color. They are nice and crispy and they're floated up to the top. Normally when they're floated up to the top, hold on guys. Normally when they're floated up to the top, it means that they're, you know, getting fully cooked. Okay, look at that gorgeous color we have there. And then over here for our dinner today, so we're having the wings and then alongside of our wings, we're gonna have sweet plantain. So we have some gorgeous plantains cooking up and they're gonna have this gorgeous caramelization. They are just amazing. It's gonna go perfect with our hot wings. Didn't take our wings any time to cook. I want you all to take a look at them. They are simply beautiful. Nice crispy texture to them. Look at this one. Look at that. Look at that crispiness right there. Oh my goodness. Listen here. So what we decided we want to do. We're going to put the hot honey sauce on some of them. And then some of them we're just going to leave it plain. Because, you know, it's this fried chicken. Okay, so let's go ahead and coat some of them right now, just like so. And listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. When I come back, this plate will be made. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite when I come back. Take a look at it, everybody. Gina Young style, honey hot wings, regular fried wings, nice sweet plantains. Make you some Gina Young style. Heavenly Father, we wanna thank you once again for blessing over our day. We thank you, Lord, for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head. The food, the love, peace, and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Amen once again. I know. I know. I know. It's the hot wings you came for, right? <laughs> it's the hot wings. And look at that. Got some extra sauce just in case you have a loved one that wants some more sauce. Got the ranch on that. Dippity, dippity, dip, 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 dip. Look at that. That is what I call a honey hot wing Gina Young style. Mm-hmm. But we're gonna put that baby right there. We're gonna pick this up so you can see just how crispy. Look at that. Oh, yes. Got the cool down here. All right, and then we got some amazing plantains. Look at that baby right there. You never made them before. Give them a try, let me know what you think. And that dark color, you're supposed to have that color. It's nice and sweet. Mm. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.